Welcome to Smart Wine Cellar. In this series, I'm going to take you on a journey building the smartest wine cellar in the world, which is light controlled for every single bottle. So, probably the most boring part of the whole build is to make room for the new wine rack. So I started to mount down the old shelves and after that taking away each bottle and placing them in another space, making sure to keep the position of column and rows within all bottles. I didn't really want to rearrange all of them in Cellar Tracker again. Okay, so that took longer than expected, but uh, yeah, time to remove these ones now. To make sure the first row of the wine rack was leveled, I made a simple construction with a piece of wood and two adjustable feet. I then took my laser level and made sure the rack was positioned around 20 centimeters from the floor. And now the fun begins. Making sure the first shelf of the wine rack was leveled and in right position on the wall. I made some tiny holes with a smaller drill. I removed the rack, positioned the laser level and drilled the holes and inserted plugs in the wall. Then back with the shelf, drilling in each screw. Now it's only 50 more racks to go. Here I am admiring the lights blinking in the shelf. It looks awesome. So my initial thought was to mount one shelf, install the lights, then mount another shelf and install the lights on that row. I'm really happy that I didn't continue doing it this way. What I ended up doing was to mount each shelf do a rough cleaning after each mount and then a bigger cleaning in the end before mounting all the lights. Let's get back to the mounting. To make sure each shelf has the exact same distance between them, I made a simple wooden shelf supporters. I did around 45 of these ones, but ended up using only 32. Two per shelf was more than enough. Having these supporters, I could wait until the end with mounting one of the two supporters on each side of the wine rack. I made all the supporters with a stop block, making sure all of them was in the exact same dimension and paying close attention to making the first row really level. The rest of the process went actually really quick. When all the shelves was in position, I started working with the supporters on each side. The supporters are 2.5 times 2.5 centimeters, and I have an adjustable foot in the bottom, and in the end, a cap in the top. I just needed to cut them to the correct length. I then used a couple of clamps holding them to the shelf, marked the holes, removing them, and then drilled them. I then used the clamps again, putting in the screws and the end caps. Mounting all the shelves and installing the lights took around three days of work. I did that before work in the morning, during my lunch time and after work. In next week's video, I will show you the final wine rack and also show you a demo of the application as well. See you next week. Bye.